What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video. And I, I apologize again for the car video. My computer's not charging properly, so... I'm going to leave it on the charger, and I should be able to go live tonight. Uh, usually when I leave it charging for a while, it will work, but then it dies overnight. But it should be good to go. Got to get the battery looked at when I can. But I wanted to get a video up on Antoine Bethay. Um, when the offseason started, I said that the New York Giants were almost certainly going to cut four guys. That being Red Ellison, Kareem Martin, Alec Ogletree, and Antoine Bethay. Red Ellison retired. They cut Martin. They cut, um, uh, they cut Ogletree. And now today... They finally cut Antoine Bethea, and by doing so, the New York Giants will save, I believe it's $2.5 million. I read a tweet online that said $3 million. That didn't add up. I think he was rounding up because he was only making two point seven five last year, and I think it carries a $250,000 dead cap hit. I could be wrong on that, but I think it's $2.5 million in savings. So now the New York Giants freed up about $20 to $21 million in total between those four players. So they'll have another two or Two and a half million dollars or so to spend on free agency. Where they could spend that money? Well, we've heard rumors about Leonard Floyd. Some of the guys are falling off. I already saw that uh, Ted Karras, the center, got signed. We could still look at a guy like Darrell Williams. We could try to bring in a wide receiver. But, uh, yeah, I like this move. I think it was a no-brainer from the start. I'm surprised that it took the New York Giants this long. I didn't see the value bringing Antoine Bethea back. I respect him as a player, you know, good veteran player, brought some leadership to the New York Giants. I completely understood the signing last year when you had limited cap space. You didn't know who your safeties were going to be. Um, you know, we didn't know what we know what we had with Julian Love after we drafted him, whether it was going to be a slot or a safety. I think as of now, unless they bring in a safety, you could look at a guy like HaHa Clinton Dix. Um, I think Julian Love will be the starting free safety. Um, you know, we'll have to wait and see how it all plays out. Uh, but Bethea will not be back with the New York Giants. And like I said, I think it's the right move. I think you need these young guys to prosper. And I think maybe you could bring in a guy that will actually have significance on this roster. Antoine Bethea, even though he led the team in tackles last year, was atrocious in coverage. I think he surrendered seven touchdowns in coverage. He was among one of the league's worst. Um, you saw it time and time again every week. The guy was slow, couldn't cover. And there was a reason the Giants were able to get him for $2.75 million. But overall, the Giants have literally done exactly Everything I wanted this offseason. They got rid of the dead weight with all these players with the bad contracts. If you include Janoris Jenkins, that's really cutting five players that were old, were eating up a lot of the cap space. They brought in guys on cost-effective contracts that were much younger. Janoris Jenkins in his 30s, gone. Ogletree, 30s, gone. You replaced those guys with guys in their mid-20s and only on three-year deals that you could get out after, you know, sooner than later. I like a lot of the things the New York Giants have done this offseason. Overall, I'd give free agency about a B. I think they've set us, set us up very nicely for the draft. And now the discussion will start to begin. Will they go tackle? Will they go um, Will they go linebacker? And that's what we're going to have to find out. But, but they had to go. They had to get young. They had to give the young guys some experience. I'm excited to see what they could do with Julian Love. Best of luck to Antoine Bethea in retirement or if he signs on with another team. He was a great player, you know, in the in the prime of his career. But just couldn't cut it anymore with the New York Giants. As always, guys, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe. Drop a comment. Maybe. Give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.